Hey everyone, welcome back to Nutrition Made Simple, a video series that we created that takes a look at ideas surrounding natural health topics, and then we break them down into easy to understand and actionable steps. My name is Brian Strickland, I'm joined again today by Ed Jones, he's the owner and founder of Nutrition World, and today we're going to continue kind of our chat about gut health in particular, um, but there's one topic that we think is pretty new, doesn't get a lot of attention. Um, and that's actually a histamine response from the foods that we eat. This is uh, kind of a new area that is one of the up and coming, um, we think. Um, and there's one particular supplement and product that can help with this issue. But before we get into that, obviously, typically when people think of histamines, they're thinking allergies. You mm -hmm. know, it, it's those seasonal allergies where the pollen is out. We get the runny nose, all the the uh, watery eyes and nidgy eyes, all that fun stuff. But it can actually occur within the gut as well from the foods that we eat. So why don't we just chat for a minute about what a histamine is? Because <laughs> I think it's a term that we, we throw around a lot, but not everyone may know exactly what it is and then what they do in the body. Absolutely, Brian. And it's a very important topic, and it's actually been under the radar screen for a long time because we didn't have really enough access to options to help the situation. And we all know from even the commercials for antihistamines that it has to do with discomfort. There's no doubt. But histamines itself is an important mechanism in the body. And, you know, sometimes people look or, or traditional people look at the health of or the body itself and systems and they think it's kind of like a truck and we have all these separate components and we just alter one of them to get to a result and 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 we do get results sometimes but is that the best method to me it's not it's more mm -hmm. like you know looking at a little branch of a tree rather than taking a big step back and seeing all the magical interactions that nature has put together to create optimal health. We don't live in separate little entities of body parts, and histamines is one of those. Histamines have very beneficial effects unless we have too many of them. Mm -hmm. That is kind of the standard of so much of what happens in our body is trying to recreate that balance of optimal. And it's almost um, impossible unless you take that step backwards. Well, histamines are a neurotransmitter, mm -hmm. one, so it's very important for neuron-to-neuron -neuron communication. Okay. It also helps to the stomach acids to digest food. And then thirdly, we know, even if we don't experience it, what histamines kind of create water, like you said, swelling, uh, uh, runny nose. Well, one reason it does that is because histamines have a, a positive effect if we have infections and we need to rush things to uh, from the immune system to try to dilute. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of pluses to that. It Just because you have a symptom doesn't mean that it's horrible. It's trying to do the job. But the right. problem is too many of those. Okay. So a normal histamine response is a good thing. That's something the body does naturally. Um, but where we run into trouble is with the excess histamines. And if we're not paying attention to the foods that we eat, obviously that can occur in the gut as well. And that's what we want to chat about for a minute. So symptom wise, I think pretty much everyone's familiar with what it feels like to have allergies and excess mm -hmm. histamines there. But do those symptoms differ if it's occurring in the gut? Absolutely, Brian, because... We all know what happens when you have histamine released from ragweed. But when it comes from the gut, it doesn't affect us in that way. And in mm. fact, there's a pretty lengthy list of people who have excessive histamines who have these symptoms. And many of these have been run through the medical system to make sure there's no diseases because you got to do that. You got to check with a healthcare professional mm -hmm. and make sure that you don't have underlying issues. But if you have too many histamines from the gut and the food, I mean, it goes from allergies to cramps, anxiety, insomnia, dizziness, fatigue, headaches, reflux, blood pressure, itching, congestion, rapid heart rate, and swelling without any apparent reason. Okay. Wow. And that is, I mean, you can see how much different it is than say a ragweed. And I think there's people, I don't think, I know there's people who have lived a more miserable life because we had no idea, mm -hmm. one, what was happening and two, what to do about it. 
So what are some of the foods that people should be on the lookout for? If they're including certain things in their diet, I'm assuming that there are particular foods that can trigger that histamine response more. Absolutely. And, you know, they go through, it's not that big a list, but if you can't reduce that excessive amount, it doesn't take much of these foods. The citrus foods, artificial colors produce histamine, Mm -hmm. berries, chocolate, mushrooms, fermented foods, tomatoes, alcohol. Those are the bigger list. There's a secondary list, which is is, is bigger. But those are the main foods that do this. And again, you know, you and I did a video on alcohol because I rated the the worst to the best. And you can look back on our our podcast to see that. But uh, eliminating these is pretty important. But we also have uh, another additional help with that, too. Okay. So supplementally what can be done i know there's a handful of products that are great for allergy season that can help support that normal histamine histamine response but is there anything that is gut specific well luckily brian i actually was talking to a a a researcher a clinician in austria uh, a month or two ago and there we know that the body works and has every system in place to help us live a very long quality life. Mm. But the problem is the world and we ourselves kind of screw it up. And in regard to histamines, there's a, you know, medications can screw this thing up and many other avenues, but there's an enzyme called diamine oxidase. We all make plenty of that in younger years. Mm. What does that enzyme do? it makes sure you don't have too many histamines. It breaks the too much histamine down, still allows the right amount for the body, but it does it keeps it from uh, becoming excessive because diamine oxidase is what we had to do this earlier in life because okay. of multiple reasons we tend to lose it. And that is almost a magical uh, uh, remedy at this point. Mm. So what is it? Uh- well, it's DAO. We won't say mm-hmm. diamine oxidase every single time. Good. But, Thank you. Um, well, one, I, I do have two questions. Why would we? Why do we stop producing DAO naturally? I mean, mm-hmm. I, there are other things in our bodies that you know, mm-hmm. enzymes, what what have you, that decrease you know as we age. But um, why would we not produce as much as we do when we were young? Well, sadly. We are in a stage of declining health of this nation. That doesn't mean we're going to live any less, but we're going to live less quality years. I I see it. I've been doing this 43 years. I've watched the decline of quality years in people. Mm -hmm. And it has to do a lot with our environment, sometimes not even our choices. Like we don't really have a choice of Roundup anymore that's sprayed on almost all the foods. That's one big reason for this. A lot of the drugs that are giving, even it's weird because – Benadryl and, and antihistamines for ragweed causes you to have less DAO. Okay. Uh, many of the drugs for autoimmune, like Embril, and many of those will completely devastate DAO. Mm. There's a big, moderately big list of drugs. So drugs alone can keep you from doing it, from having it. Well, then that means you have too much histamine. Then you have all these symptoms. Then you run back to the doctor over and over and over. And they just usually, you get more drugs. Okay. And they're not going to really help the DAO situation because very few clinicians have any clue of this. And it will change with the years because this is a key component of us feeling better Mm -hmm. it won't kill us to have histamines excessive but it sure kills our quality of life so obviously this is something that you can take supplementally um i'm curious about just how it's taken is it done a certain amount of time before a meal or a certain Mm -hmm. number of times a day and how quickly can people expect to see results you know brian i am very excited about this because one is you can take this pill and it lasts six hours for each capsule. What that means is in that period of six hours, you won't produce too many histamines. Secondly, I love it because you're going to know amazing results in two to three days only if you are truly uh, producing too many histamines. We can't really test for it. So what we do is we give the remedy for it. And if the remedy eliminates your symptoms, well, you kind of just diagnosed yourself yeah (laughs) and at that point well you just continue taking it it would be like if you're at 20 years old you quit making insulin you're going to have to take insulin guess what at 40 years old you quit making dao well you can live miserably or you can take this pill uh, twice a day and probably improve your quality of life i've experimented with it um i don't think i make too many histamines unless i do the wrong foods and in that case i don't feel as well and so i'm Mm going to pick and choose when i do this okay awesome 
Well, thanks, Ed. That was super helpful, and we hope that you enjoyed this as well. DAO, it's one of the new up-and-coming uh, supplements that we're really excited about. Um, so yeah, you can check it out in the store, and we'll link it below as well. Of course, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below. We're always happy to help in any way that we can and hear from you. Um, and please like and subscribe. Uh, it helps us out. It helps us get the word out with what we're doing here, and uh, you'll get that content delivered straight to you. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.